it's Karen, your neighbourhood witch, and today I've been making these decorative potion bottles. So these little bottles are designed for decorating your witchy space. You could keep small amounts of spell oils in there if you wanted to. I wouldn't keep anything in there that is likely to go off or is uh, needed to be consumed because they are intended as decorative items. Stay with me to show you how I did them. I'm using miniature spirits bottles, so the kind that you quite often get for Christmas with alcohol in. Uh, empty, obviously, and I've given them a good washing and scrubbed the labels off. And I'm just cutting away the little metal collar that's around the top of the bottle there. Next, I'm going to prepare the surface by roughening it up using my Dremel. And then I'm going to wipe it with alcohol to make sure that it's clean. I'm wearing a mask and uh, eye protection while I'm doing this. So here's a bottle with the surface uh, prepared. If you don't have a Dremel tool or you don't want to go through that, then uh, this step you can skip. I think I would probably put some kind of primer on the surface of the bottle, maybe coat it with some Mod Podge or something like that, just so that it's ready for the next step. And the next step is to give it some texture. So I'm going to be using this heavy bodied gel. It's matte and so that it sticks really, really well, I'm going to just clean the surface of my bottle with some alcohol. I'm using methylated spirits because it's easily available in the UK and it is cheap. If where you are rubbing alcohol is uh, easier to obtain then use that. It's just so that any grease that's on the surface is cleaned off so that we have the best possible chance of our gel sticking to the surface of the glass. So now I've got a sponge and I'm wearing gloves. The reason why I'm wearing gloves at this stage is because I've just gone ahead and cleaned the surface of the glass and I don't want to uh, mess it up again with my, my mucky fingers. And whoops, come back. And I'm going to put hold my glass on a stick. And I'm just going to apply my gel. Now you can be as heavy handed with the texture as you like, or as light. There's a little bit of something in there that I didn't want, so I'm going to scrape that off. And, or you can kind of be gentle with the texture. It's up to you. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to stick that. This is just a lump of plasticine. Um, if you have polystyrene packaging material, that would move just as well. I'm just going to leave it there for the gel to dry which will take half an hour an hour something like that it's going to depend on how warm it is where you are here's one i made earlier and it's had plenty of time for the gel to dry so now i'm ready to apply my paint so i'm just using ordinary acrylic paint which i'm giving a good shake up and this color is pistachio mint in case you're interested and I'm just putting in a splat of it. And again, I've got a piece of dowel that I'm holding it with. Um, pencil would work, or you could just hold it with your fingers and get it uh, 
and get your hands messy. So and again, I'm lightly dabbing that all over. And I'm putting it on with one side and I'm taking some of it off with the other because I don't want it to really be more textured than the texture paste underneath, if I'm making sense to you. When the paint is dry, I'm going to antique it with a bitumen substitute paint. I am wearing gloves and I've got an old sock on one hand and you'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. So first I gave the bottle a generous coat of paint and then immediately I'm wiping it off with the sock. This particular paint is water-based. Now there are solvent-based bitumen substitute paints available. If I was using one of them, then I would have a dish of solvent uh, next to me and I would be dipping the hand with the sock in into the solvent before I try to wipe off the bitumen paint. Once it's dry, then I dry brush it all over to add some highlights. I have a brush with stiff bristles and some warm white paint. I load my brush with a small amount of paint and wipe most of it off and then I brush all over the surface in every direction. I added a decoration to the front of one of the bottles and I made this with some air dry clay and a mould that I got from eBay. So that the finished decoration would fit, I dried it on a curved surface and when it was fully dry, I gave it some paint and I glued it to the bottle with multi-purpose adhesive. To protect the surface and to add shine, I gave it a coat of clear acrylic floor polish. Uh, this particular kind I got from Amazon. Uh, Pledge Clear Multi-Surface Wax is another good option if you can't get hold of the one that I used. Now it's time to add the finishing touches. I've got some twine and a little charm. And again, this is something that I bought from a seller on eBay. Uh, I chose the Triketra for this particular bottle. I've used different charms for the other bottles that I've been decorating. A little bit of hot glue keeps everything in place. So there they are, my decorated spell bottles. These two are still rather plain, so I'll probably go and design some kind of label uh, and, and stick them on there just to make them look the part. But that is it for today. So thank you very, very much for staying with me up until now. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you give these a go, don't forget to, uh, to let me know, will you? I'd be really interested to see how yours turned out. But that is it for now. So once again, merry meet, merry part. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.